and Lukman has been one of the stories of the European Tour. It's been a real breakthrough year for him and he's only missed two European Tours so far. So he'd be many people's favourite to win this game but does have to deal with a home crowd. Gabriel Clemens qualifying because he is the number one player in Martin to throw first. Game on. Yeah, the number one player in Germany does qualify along with Martin Schindler who's number two but he's been bumped up to the series. He'll be here tomorrow and one of these will complete the lineup for our last 32 one tomorrow. And what a start for Smash Martin Lindman. Yeah, not bad. From Smash. And you'd have to say that the impact he's had on the European Tour this year, it must 100. be viewed rather enviously by the German number one, who's played in three times as many European Tours and got nowhere near as far as that final that Martin has made. In fact, 81. it's only this year that Gabriel Clemens has started going into the final day of these events. Yeah, for someone of Gabriel's ability, it would, I've got to say, a poor return on the European Tour. 134. And unlike Martin Lukman, he's still got some work to do if he's going to qualify for the European Darts Finals. Lukman 140. Clemens is currently outside the spots, but if he wins this game, he would jump up £2,000. Clemens hasn't been given the £1,000 for qualifying yet because he's a home, a home nation qualifier. So this would be in effect with 2,000 on his prize money. A big game for Clemens. Game Great from the opening leg, leg from Martin Lukman. Martin That's Lutman. a 12 darter, Second 100 check out. First. Wonderful start from Smash. Yeah, Lukman got by Ian White in the opening round last week. That has convinced us Raymond Van Barnabal just did. Eventually lost to Joe Cullen. The, looking back now, what a bad result, the eventual champion last week. 55. Yeah, actually helped him out earlier on Martin Lutman. So he's come here in his dark shirt and he just wants to say, you know, he's one of, one of those tags and it was annoying him, just on the inside. So he ripped that out. 100. Also managed to rip his shirt. So on, the, on his right hand side, that is held together by gaffer tape on the inside that Ian White has helped stitch 57. up. Otherwise, it would be the second time that we've seen Martin Lutman getting his belly out on the European Tour stage. Oh, and there, there was me thinking Ian White couldn't take anything positive from the evening. <laughs> but he has fixed <laughs> Martin Lukeman's shirt, so... And Gabriel Clemens will provisionally Gabriel jump up to around about number 29 in the race for the European Championship final with victory here. Oh, hello. He's in the remaining two as well in Belgium and Gibraltar. He needs to win some games. Yeah, and worth noting that, I know that a lot of people go, oh, we've got more Euro Tours in Germany than anywhere else. The German players, they have this massive advantage. Well, Belgium and Gibraltar, he's qualified for. It. He's done that off his own back. Game from the second leg. Gabriel Clemens. Yeah, start start them both. 12 dart hold, followed by a 13 dart hold. And... How are we about to wait for the last match of the night to have a real close game? Everything's been pretty straightforward. Gurney, Scott 6-3, Suter, Vainig 6-3, but it was very convincing for them too, and I told you about the three white washers. Is this the game that's going to have all the drama? Yeah, we had plenty of drama this afternoon, didn't we? There was all sorts going on. But even though six threes 100. could have been bigger margins of victory couldn't they they didn't look like they were in real danger oh, Suter had a couple of match starts for 6-1 didn't he and Gurney in his game is danger. one break early and he finished the job but this one already showing early promise 134 yeah, really really good in the opening exchanges here Clemens He's going to get himself down to a makeable finish here. Very makeable one. How about 41? That'll be the target. 140. Settle for that. This is some start from Gabriel Clemens. He's got to finish the 81. 82. Gabriel, you require 81. So, the break throw. 12 segment. 
Double 13. 68. Ooh, probably the worst start he threw in the entire Martin leg. Martin, you require 85. Yeah, fly it. So Lukeman got rid of 100 in the opening leg. That's 85. Would continue the sequence on throw. Game and we do continue on throwing leg. just like Martin that 100. Lukeman. It was in Full two darts. 85. Clean the whistle. Game Three on. holds a throw. Lukeman leads 2 1. Yeah, they're satisfying legs to win. It's a 14 darter, which is a really good leg of darts anyway, as Gabriel Clemens takes on a fly there. And I think there's only one winner, to be honest. But a 14 darter when your opponent has just missed a dart for a 12 as well. That's, that's a satisfying one. It just renders all that brilliant work that Clemens did in that leg completely useless. And Clemens has kicked off 41. Well, <laughs> I don't fancy the Flyers chance against either to be honest. 81. <laughs> <laughs> Focus with Lutman. Kept staring at the board. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Well, Raymond Van Barneveld was talking after his game. He felt there was a bit of a breeze up there, and it affected both he and Ian White during that game. But in this one, these two are suggesting that conditions are absolutely perfect up there. Clemens win. Three and a half legs into this, and he's averaging close to 120. Lukeman's on 102. 140. And they've only missed two darts a double between them. When it is a draft, though, it, it sort of plays on sort of floaty action. Rim van Barneveld floats him into the balls. These two, particularly Lukeman, he gives it some, Martin, doesn't he? So 140. Not really going to affect these two. Lukeman. 54. The likes have left that hand here. And this is awkward for Clemens. If he doesn't find the treble, chances are he may block his tops. He's a big fella. Can he get over the top of those? He, could, he just couldn't quite Martin, find the double 86. top. Is it another two dart combination done in two darts? Ooh. That one going. Yeah, we know where that one's Jorge. going. Listen to the roar. Martin Lukeman. And there's the first break. Lukeman leads 3-1 here. Martin to throw first. There we see. Look Game at that on. opening. 12, 13, 14, 15. This one should be in 16. One of the sequence, but Lukeman strikes early. He's halfway to a clash in the last 32 17. with Rob Cross. For those checkouts, 185 and 86 for Martin Lukeman. That is top draw stuff. 60. And it's demoralising for an opponent. And Clemens was there or thereabouts as well, wasn't he? Mm. Oh. 100. He'd missed a dart in both occasions in the last two legs, the 85 and the 86. Clemens was the last match of the evening session last week on the Friday. And he went down to Ryan Meikle. And history could be repeating itself here. 100. And we mentioned that race for the European Championship. It isn't panic stations if he did lose this game level fans, but it would mean he's going to have to win some games in those other European Tour events. And it's not something that he's done enormously regularly. Now, he might have to go and make a final day, and that's been a rarity for him. Yes, it's, it's happening this year, but not as often as he'd like, and he's not capitalising on that by going on to make the quarters of the semis. 99. Mm, and we're saying require 134. He's got to win games. Well, have you seen some of the draws that have been floating about in the European tours? They're getting harder and harder. There's no easy draws 86. coming up, so it's not yeah, going to say he's going to go to Belgium, get a nice draw, then get one in Gibraltar. They don't exist anymore. So Clemens has got plenty to do. 100. You require 48. Oh, this will be his lowest finish of the match. Why the would that leg. pose any problem Martin when you're Lutherman. taking out much more complicated like ones with no bother all the way through the game? game. The finishing absolutely magnificent from Martin Luton. The only darts he's missed at double, one at tops and one at 16, which he took out with the next darts in that same visit. Effectively, 
he has not missed a dart at double because he's taken it out in that visit. That functional double percentage, 100. which is something we don't have at the minute on the Euro Tour. I think they have it on Dutch telly. But if he's getting a chance, it's going. It's going in that period of three darts, isn't it? And 140. And he's just played a good game here, Martin Lukman. Gabriel Clemens is averaging almost 110. But 140. Lukman, averaging 97. has got him where he wants him. He's just got an epic slightly there, but it's an incredible tie to end the night. Look at that. A dozen two treble visits for Gabriel Clemens. 100. We're only in the sixth leg. Lucas Veinig in the crowd. Look at a smile on his face. We, he lost out to Alan Suter earlier on. 180. Match number two. And it's going to the man who's averaging seven points less than his opponent. Both for Lukeman. Oh, my. 102. It's a millimetre. Martin, you require But it 81. might be the difference between getting back into the game and getting an absolute hiding. Bullseye for Lukeman. Game and smash pins it as well. Martin he is just Lukeman. not missing anything at the back end of legs. And an 81 to the ton. 85, 86, 48. Clinical. Leg, Martin well, Clemens the won't believe what's happening here. On. The average is 109, he's 5-1 down. And it's not one of those averages that's sort of disguised by not having many darts or doubles. He has us four a double. This is clinical stuff from Martin Lukman, and this is why he's been so effective on the European Tour this year. Look, I, I, we saw him average, was it 104 against Damon Hetter earlier this year when he was first making his mark on the European Tour. He defied an average of 108 from Damon there. He is doing the same in terms of defying that sort of average. I think this performance might be even better. Because the finishing, I don't think you can improve upon it. The only thing he could have done, perhaps, is take out the 1-3-4 that he, he didn't hit. He left 86, uh, left 48, took that and the next visit anyway. It, it's almost perfect finishing. It's a complete performance. Look at this. 105. And Lutman is almost there. And Gabriel Clemens is just one of those nights where it just hasn't happened. He's played his part, but I don't think he can quite believe that he's 5 1 down here. And it could be 6 1 and all done in a matter of seconds here. Lukeman for the win. 16. Not to be just yet. Well, he's finally missed one, but it's one he could afford to miss. Gabriel Clemens in this match has only been allowed four darts at double, and they've been odd darts at the end of 1 2 7. 80, 81. 81, and then he did get one Martin, of that 36, which is the 40. leggies one. That probably is the only leggy wins. Game and that's exactly what it is. <laughs> what a performance Martin for Martin Lukeman. And if we save the best to last, what a game. And look at the averages there, Gabriel Clemens. He's spawning noise. He knows he's played well there, but he just had no answers. The timing was there from Lukeman, and is he on yet another run at a European Tour event? Hats off to Clemens. He said not a lot he could do, and I don't think he beat himself up too much about that, but... That caps off an excellent night's action. Wins for Danny Van Tripe. He beat John Henderson 6-0. Guy Nenches beat Josh Rock. Gurney over Scott 6-3. Suter over Vainig 6-3. Another whitewash.